but I am concerned that if we don't allow this free flow of information, um, uh, physicians may not have access to this information. In the ideal world, we would have a situation where physicians can attend on a regular basis uh, medical educational events and they participate in renewed exercises for their medical knowledge. The reality is that doesn't happen. If you're, for instance, a lonely oncologist who lives in rural Montana, you may not have access to this information. So you're only contact with a person who can give you some extra information about a given product. Let's say a product for multiple myeloma, maybe the drug rep that got in the car for those six hours to go on visit. And if that drug rep has to engage on some prescripted quasi-robotic language that just sticks to the label, that physician is going to think, well, you know, this probably was not worth my time. I could get that information anywhere. But if they were both able to talk, and maybe that drug rep could alert uh, that physician of a uh, new side effect, which in fact they do all the time. You know, you may need to consider the side effect for this medication. Then there is indirectly a benefit for patients. So again, that's why we would like this information to be uh, disseminated more widely, rather than being exclusively restricted to the label indications.